Hello, and welcome to Silent Night. I'm your host, Hunter Bishop. Tonight, we have a holiday-filled show to get you into the Christmas spirit. If you're looking for holiday festivities in the area, try Celebration, Florida holiday, Florida's holiday event. It's free entry, there's free parking, there are live shows, street performances, and ice skating. Also, there's many more things than that. And you also can't forget, there'll be nightly snowfall every hour on the hour from 6 to 9 p.m., especially on Christmas Day. Jabari, have you ever seen snow? No, sadly, I haven't seen snow. I'm from Florida, so. Well, this is your chance. You'll have to go down and see some. Yay! If you would like more information about locations and cost of this event, you can go to the Orlando Vacations website and search Cele Celebration Florida Holiday. And speaking of Christmas, 30 Days of Christmas is happening on Church Street in downtown Orlando. There will be lots of holiday decor, light shows, music, and this is all happening from December 2nd to the 31st. The live entertainment is programmed to be Thursday through Sunday from 6 to 9 p.m. There are also events going on in downtown Orlando, and if you'd like to know more information on those events, you can visit the downtown Orlando's website. Along with this Christmas cheer, you can never go wrong with Disney Springs Christmas Tree Trail. Each tree is decorated with Disney movies, such as Toy Story, Haunted Mansion, Frozen, The Lion King, and many, many more. Now, personally, I'm excited to go see the Frozen tr theme tree because Olaf, that is my favorite character. Uh, for all those good boys and girls, Santa will also be there giving greetings and to take pictures to warm our hearts with Christmas spirit. The trail is now open until January 5th, 2020. From 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. It is a great activity for all ages to enjoy. Jabari, are you gonna go see a tree? And I'm going tree? to see The Lion King. I wanna see Simone and Pumbaa. I'm guessing that's your favorite movie? Yes, of course. That's a good movie. And that's the latest of Christmas news. Now let's go to Daquan and Jen with Santa on the Streets. Hi, I'm Daquan Person. And I'm Jen. Welcome to a special Christmas edition of Man on the Street where we're going to ask people Christmas themed questions and give them gifts. So find someone. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, we are here with. A Pete. So, Pete, um. For a prize, in 20 seconds, can you name 20, no, 10 Christmas movies? Starting now. Uh, Autist Christmas and uh, Home Alone, Home Alone 2, Home Alone 3, <laughs> and uh, The Polar Express, Santa Paws, Santa Claus 1, 2, and 3. Uh, Die Hard. Bad Santa, uh, Ebony the Screws, uh, Mickey's Christmas Carol, uh, uh, White Christmas, uh, Rudolph, The Grinch, I say The Grinch, uh, 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 something with the Franks, no, I don't know that one actually. Elf. Uh, nightmare, uh, not nightmare. Uh, uh, the the what's the nightmare before Christmas? Nightmare before Christmas. Uh, the Miracle on 34th Street. Uh, yeah, I'm bad at these. The movie, right. The movie with Chris Brown. <laughs> it's Christmas. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Unfortunately, you get didn't get a prize, but I will give you a candy cane for at least trying. And this one is regular flavor. Now here's one for you. And here's an Oreo one for you. If you got some participation, candy uh, cans. Look at this. We got some candy cans. Look at this. All right. Can I tell you my birthday? No. <laughs> my favorite Christmas song would be. Hmm, I won't say Silent Night. I just like Silent Night. <laughs> It's gonna be Donny Hathaway this Christmas. That's the one I, I listen to it even when it's not Christmas. Can you give us a verse? No. <laughs> I'm on a 12 day for Christmas. Love it. Yeah, that one. 
I don't know if I have a favorite Christmas song, but the first one that comes to mind is obviously the Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas is You. Is you. Come on, man. Can you give us a verse? Yeah, give us a verse. Nah, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the seasons change. The temperature dropping. I got to fill up my wallet. I got a gift for the stocking. Sleeping heavenly peace. Do you want to say Merry Christmas to anyone? Yes, Merry Christmas to the whole Full Sail staff, crew, students. Hopefully everybody has a great holiday season. Merry Christmas to all the students here at Full Sail University. Uh, Merry Christmas to my mother. <laughs> to all the students that are here that are away from their family, I got you. I'd like to say Merry Christmas to all of our troops overseas who won't be home with their families over the holidays, and also to my brother. Hey Charles, Merry Christmas. That's all we've got here from Folsom University. Back to you guys in the studio. Jess, grow up. Thank you, Daquan and Jen. That was great. Next, we'll play our new segment, The Whisper Challenge, after this break. Welcome back to the show. For this segment, I have one of Santa's helpers, Ashley, with me here to explain a new game that they've thought of called the Whisper Challenge. Ashley? Okay, so the Whisper Challenge is a game that we've come up with just to kind of keep people in the Christmas spirit. Mm -hmm. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a pair of headphones okay. and we're gonna play some music through them so you can't hear anything. And they're already kind of soundproof anyways. Okay. So I'm um, gonna say a phrase and you're just gonna guess what I say. Okay. Simple enough, right? That sounds easy. All right, let's and, get started. Uh, we have our best man, Anthony, in here with our headset for this. Thank you. Awesome. And he's also gonna be controlling the headset or the music playing. So I'm assuming I'm right. going first. Yes. Okay. You'll go first. All right, go ahead and start the music. Good. All right. So, son of a nutcracker. What? Son of a nutcracker. Son of a something? Son of a nutcracker. Son of the nutcracker? Eh, yeah, close enough. Okay. <laughs> okay, what do I? Um, okay. Dance of the sugar plum fairy. Something about a fairy? Okay. Legend of the Sugar Plum Berry. Say the first word again. Last. Dance. dance. The dance of the Sugar Plum Berry. Yeah. Ah, okay, cool. That was a nice one. Yeah, that was a good one. All right. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Merry Christmas, you something animal. Yeah. Okay. You filthy animal. <laughs> you go. <laughs> okay, last one. Um. <laughs> he sees you when you are sleeping. He sees you when you are sleeping. Is it you or is it me? <laughs> sees you when you are sleeping. He sees you when you're sleeping. Yes, that is yes. it. Yes. <laughs> awesome. You can stop the music. And uh, that is all the time we have for this segment. Thank you for joining us. When we come back, we will have one of my other helpers, Trinity Smith, with some holiday arts and crafts so you can learn what to make this Christmas. See you when we come back. <laughs> Ladies, 
if you want boys to respect you, you have to show them that you're serious. Blow something up. Yeah. Hit someone. Nothing gets a guy's attention like the violence. Oh, I love this chick. She's got rage issues. I don't have rage issues! Welcome back. Let me introduce you to the Queen of Reindeer, Trinity Smith. Hello. So, what kind of Christmas craft will you be showing us today, Trinity? Uh, so today, I'm just going to show you guys how to make some pretty simple Christmas ornaments that you can make with your family, or just by yourself, or just to spice up your Christmas tree. Okay. So, um, it's, pretty, it's pretty simple. You just need some tea light candles. And As we have. Pipe cleaners, some puff balls, and some bows. Okay. And that's it. So, the first thing you want to do is draw a little face on your tea light. Okay. Make a little snowman face, do whatever you want, whatever feels comfortable. A little snowman face. Uh-huh. Oof, my snowman's gonna have one big eye. <laughs> it's okay. This looks like a very angry snowman. There's not enough angry snowman in the world. Okay. I feel like you should run with that. Angry snowman. Here we go, that's my face. Okay, so the next part, we actually already did this off camera. We took two pipe cleaners, twisted them together, Gave this candy cane look, and we're gonna cut that so it's gonna be the band of the headband. So, like earmuffs. Yeah, the earmuffs. There you go. So. Just roughly like the head area. Yeah. Like that. Just enough. Something like this, as you can see. Okay. <laughs> cool. Right, you got that. So yes. we're just gonna glue this on top of the tea light candle. And I'm just gonna do that by making a little dollop on both sides. Is that what that's known as, a dollop? Yeah, I like to say a little dollop. It makes me feel like I'm more qualified to do this. A little dollop. Uh-huh. And a little dollop. And then I need to do one more. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Let's just hold like that. that. There you go. Oh, no, stay on there. No, 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 stay on there. <laughs> no, having some problems here? I think I got it. Got it? I'm just going to okay. hold it for a second, but... While you do that, I'm going to go to the next step. Okay. So the next step, we're just going to put some more glue and then attach the actual muff to the earmuffs. I don't know if that's what it's called, but I'm going to call it that today. I'm going to switch it up. Switching it up? Yeah. All right, I'm going to do green. Okay. So out of all the things you've crafted, what, what, what would you rate this one? So we need some more this glue. is pretty fun, and it's pretty easy, so I think I'd give this like a, a 10, for sure. Like, it's a, anyone can do this. Need more glue? Yeah, I do. So, this is definitely a 10 for me. Really affordable, really fun. What's to lose? Okay, when you're done gluing the muffs on, it looks something like this. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to attach the bow and then the hook, and then we're going to be done. It's pretty simple. OK. So for the bow, just grab your hot glue stick again, your hot glue gun, <laughs> and put another dollop underneath like this. OK. And then I'm just going to grab a bow. I follow. Follow. <laughs> and attach it just like that. I'm going to do mine upside down. Make him, make him different. <laughs> there you go. And that's what it looks like after that step. And then we have one more step, and that's just to make the hook so you can attach it to the tree. So you just need just any pipe cleaner. You don't okay. have to twist it this time. Can we use this one again? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Here, I'm gonna actually do that too. And maybe about three inches or so. Okay. And then you're going to make a hook with it. Got it. Like this. Hook time. Hook time. Just enough to get a little tree branch in there. And then take your glue stick one more time and apply the glue to the back. This is really easy. It's really easy. And if you have multiple glue sticks, it's easier to do with other people. So there you go. Good thing is this is very affordable. Yeah, and it and it dries really fast too with the hot glue, so it's really quick. So highly recommended. And this is the finished product. It's really cute. I love it. I can't forget, hold on. Yeah, you guys can wait too. Let me turn a little light on. Oh, the light, yeah. Da -da -da. Mm. Boom. There you go. This is our finished product. Awesome. Yeah, so what do you think? 
That was really fun, actually. Yeah. Uh, that was awesome. So hopefully uh, our Jolly Friends at home can try this fun craft at home. And thanks, Trinity, for coming on and showing us how to do this. Mm -hmm. And when we come back, we have more in store for you. See you when we return. Oh, I'm not even on it. Just... <laughs> yeah. It's the thirst, thirstiest time of the year. I have just one query. Want a Sprite Cranberry? Uh -huh. The answer is clear. It's the thirst. Thirstiest time of the year. Sprite, let's go! Welcome back. Christmas is a joyous time of, for family, gifts, food, and even drinks. Let's go to Gina and Jen and learn about their special Christmas concoction. Coquito, which is a traditional Christmas drink in Puerto Rico. It's basically the Puerto Rican version of the American eggnog. And this drink is usually mixed with alcohol, but today we won't be doing that. It's the virgin version. Coquito. The first thing that we're going to use is the cream of coconut, correct? Yes. Um, which we will be using two different kinds today. So we have the Coco Goya brand and then Coco Lopez. I prefer the Coco Lopez. What you're going to need are uh, cream of coconut, condensed milk, milk, and vanilla extract and sandwich. blender doesn't hold as much as we wanted it to so what we're gonna do is or what we are intended we did I guess um, we blended what we already put in there so far and we're gonna put it in this pot for now so that we can continue adding more ingredients and making more <laughs> Now again, we're gonna go with one because we want to go slow first, and then go hard. Ready? ASMR. Ooh! 
I'm gonna put it on the table. There's not, there's not enough room. We'll get the other bowl. Oh my We're back. We had some uh, technical difficulties. <clears throat> So we had to clean up a little bit. To finish up with the coquito loquito, we are going to put them in these cute little jars uh, because that's what we normally do. So store them and then you refrigerate them. To and then party. Coquito loquito, coquito loquito. Thanks, Gina and Jen. When we return, we'll have a great game ready for y'all. See you when we come back. Welcome back to our Not So Silent Show. I hope you're all ready for some punny jokes because oh, we're doing funny. the Dad Joke Challenge. Let's go. Like so the rules are pretty simple. Each team will deliver one joke at a time that will go back and forth. For each joke given, if any team laughs or smiles during that joke, the opposing team will get a point. We'll be playing for two and a half minutes, and after that I will stop both teams and each team will get one final joke to deliver for double point value. No. Are you ready? No. Yes. Are you ready? No. Yeah, we'll try. Let's begin. Let's go. What concert costs just 45 cents? What? 50 cent with Nickelback. <laughs> um, I lost my job at the bank on my very first day. Wow. You know why? 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 A woman asked me to check her balance, so I pushed her over. Her balance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I bought some shoes from a drug dealer. Mm. I don't know what he laced them with, but I was tripping all day. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. It was. Good delivery. Good delivery. Thanks. Would be makes honey move. What? A Cardi B. It's a good one. <laughs> I didn't like that. <laughs> what do you call a mac and cheese that gets way up in your face? Too close for comfort food. Is that it? Oh. <laughs> You're going down. Um, the other day I tried to make a chemistry joke. I got no reaction. Uh, she said no reaction. <laughs> what is the least spoken language in the world? What? Sign language. Literally. It's true. Literally. You don't speak it. Yeah. What do you call a dog that can do magic? What? A labracadabrador. <laughs> Why do melons have weddings? Because they can't elope. Yeah, I can't, I can't. 
Well, that's time. <laughs> and now each team must choose one person for the final joke. And this joke is worth double points. I think we lost. I'm so sorry. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Are you ready? 48, 100. 100. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, Let's finish this. Go first. Noah, you're up first. Did you hear the rumor about butter? No. Well, I'm not going to spread it. A three-legged dog walks into a bar and says to the bartender, I'm looking for the man who shot my paw. Get it? I get it, I get it, because paw, yeah. And the winner is the red team. I'm sorry. They really slayed it. That was absolutely really? tremendous. And you snow the drill. We'll see you when we come back after this short break. Fred Flintstone. Who are you? The ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future. Start sharing your Cocoa Pebbles with Paul Bonnie Rubble or this is your fate. Oh, no! I can change. I can share. See? Mm -hmm. Mary is chocolatey taste. How's my future look now? Do you know, kids? Bonnie! Be nice, Daddy. Santa's watching you. Happy holidays, Bon. Yay! The host Cocoa Pebbles cereal, part of the Snow Breakfast. Bless us, everyone. Welcome back. We have a special surprise straight from the North Pole here with me today. And they are two of Santa's helpers, Gina and Daniela. So, what's it like being a helper, working with Santa all the time? I love working with Santa Claus. He's so fun. No with Mr. Claus. It's more like slaves than helpers. <laughs> anyway, um, so I have some things with you today, with me today, uh, that you guys use on a daily. Uh, can you go ahead and explain what some of this stuff is? Sleepers, right? Sleepers, sleepers. These are Santa sleepers, look. Don't, don't touch them. Don't touch them. <laughs> These are telecom slippers. This is how we keep track of Santa and communicate with other elves. Okay, that's pretty cool. I mean, you guys, you guys gotta know where each other are all the time. Um, uh, let's see. What do you guys use these for? Those are glasses, right? They're glasses, look. You can put them on, look. Don't touch them, all right? <laughs> These are x-ray specs. This is how Santa sees if the kids are awake or not before he infiltrates each home. Infiltrates, oh, okay. Uh, all righty. Uh, so this is a pretty interesting one. What do you guys, what, what would you use that for? That's a globe, right? Look, oh. home, that's home. Um, that's our tracking monitor. That's how we keep track of Santa, you know, because he's all over the world. He's a busy man. Uh, I see. I, I, by the sounds of it, yes, yeah, yes, he is. Um, okay, so uh, what about these? Well, why, why would you use these? I got it, I got it. Drumsticks, right? Wow, she got it right. Uh, okay. Uh, anyways. That was a very riveting look at what it's like being one of Santa's helpers. From Santa, his helpers, and everyone here at Silent Night, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks for tuning in. We will see you next time.